there was only 128 of us. And, you know, we, as you do, I think when you panic, you think there was thousands of them out there, but apparently there was two and a half thousand of them. It's been 50 years since the Battle of Long Tan. How fresh are those memories for you? They're very fresh. You never, you, it just stays with you all your life and you can remember it like it was yesterday. You were just 21, yes. Private Harley Webb, and you were conscripted to fight against an enemy you had no knowledge about. We had no idea you know, what it was going to be like. You're finally in Vietnam and you were assigned to D Company to be with some of your mates, but the first patrol outside the wire, what happened? Two mates and myself, who were all had been right through our training together, when we went out on patrol, they were both killed in the first contact. And I knew that when I was out there, that they had both been killed, which was a bit confronting. And you were shot? I was shot through the, through the chest and lungs, and the bullet ended up in the muscle around my heart. You've kept the bullet and also a lot of, I suppose, painful memories. How do you feel about Vietnam today? You know, you, you're trying to absolutely hate them. And then, of course, when you get involved in a conflict, as I was, you do hate them because, you know, they've killed your mates. And I think that hate is hard to get it out of your system. I wouldn't go back there to Vietnam for sure. My uncle was actually part of the South Vietnamese Army and he was captured by the North and kept in a re-education camp for 10 years. He's been in the United States for a few decades now. He still refuses to return. I think if you, you've got to try and put yourself in their situation too, you know. I know the South wanted us to be there, but had we never been there, it would have been a lot easier for them. For my family, you, you were saying that you guys shouldn't have been there, but I know that they're very grateful. I feel quite proud to be a Vietnam veteran. See that one? It was drinking off of there, now it's off of that one. Yeah. From Mount Bowker to Perth for Anzac Day commemorations, what kind of emotions come up? The hardest part of the whole weekend is when they play the last post. That's the hardest. Because you remember all the guys that you knew that haven't come back.